All right, so we're down at the shop today. We're on top of the camper. And uh, we're gonna put an AC in it here. Went and picked one up this morning at Camping World. Generally, I don't buy stuff at Camping World, but they had this one in stock and it's a relatively good deal. Uh, saved me on some freight. And uh, I got pretty much the exact one that I have there, except the underside for this second air is back here in the toy hauler section. Uh, so it's got a thermostat knob and a control right on the um, control. So if you're buying one of these Coleman's, basically the way it works is you buy the top unit and you select which bottom configuration you want. This particular one is gonna have a built-in thermostat. Um, if you're wondering how I got this up here, set a little bit of dirt. Basically I came around with the excavator. Uh, this came on a palletized, so it's really strong on the bottom. It's got wood. Basically set this down on top of the back of the bucket picked it up and uh kind of shimmied it off this weighs about i'd say 60 70 pounds maybe i was able to pretty easy to lift this up with these straps cut this off uh, one suggestion i'll make you know to prevent you from getting around on your roof especially when you take this out keep the cardboard around because you can use it to scrape and you know put your legs and, or feet or whatever so you don't damage the roof uh, cardboard works really well just be real careful with cardboard because if you get close to the side and it slips you're going off Anyway, um, it's going to be a pretty quick video today. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to get this installed. We'll get this top section up here, uh, get this vent out, get this place really, really close. You don't want to scoot this around on the roof. Um, so I want to get this as close as possible. So hopefully from down below, I can pick up on it and get it exact. Um, and then we'll uh, get everything hooked up. This camper, it's a Puma Unleashed uh, toy hauler. It's already prepped. We got a 50 amp service. Uh, the connection for the bottom is already there. All I got to do is run a short wire over to the unit. Let's get started. Okay, so we got it set. Doing this single person. The way I did that is I actually kind of climbed next to it there, tilted it up on its side, and put it on its side on this piece of cardboard so I could slide it back and forth to get it lined up on the hole. So it should be really close. I'm going to go downstairs and finish up the alignment, and we should be ready to start bolting this thing in. Uh, but just a tip, if you're by yourself, basically you can use the sideboard cardboard. It doesn't have any staples or anything in it. You can just lay it out, lay it on its side, bring it up, pitch it down in the hole. Works great. Okay, so we got everything positioned. Uh, it's in. Um, we've got our header coming down. So this will actually connect to the thermostat unit that's going to cover this. Um, I'm right now getting ready to run the wire and then I actually need to cover all this and, and duct tape all this up uh, with either full or really good uh, silver lined duct tape uh, to seal this up. Um, there's a boot that attaches on one of these vents that comes down with a sealant at the bottom. I'll show that a little bit later. One thing I wanted to go over is uh, this was already installed. Um, has a little cover over it. Initially, I was like, well, maybe they intended for you to run the wire, but that's not the case. What you want to do is actually take the uh, take these screws out that hold the cover, and then you want to back these wing nuts out. See how that flips up? And you can actually pull this entire assembly out. You want to put this back um, here. I may just use a, a orange data one uh, to, to cover this up because this is kind of bulky, um, but that's how that works. Um, and you're going to get this out, make sure the power's off. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention on my unit, um, this was actually my main AC breaker. Uh, so this was hot, um, you know, so you want to check this before you start messing with it. And mine is labeled wrong. So my prep breaker is actually the main uh, AC unit up front. And the main AC unit is actually the prepped AC unit. So just keep that in mind. And again, this is a Forest River Puma. And uh, basically what I'm going to do now is I've got the power off. Verified it that it was on, verified that it's now off. I'm gonna cut those off and reroute this wire up next to the duct uh, so we can do a wire penetration and get all this sealed up before we put the final uh, bracket on. All right, we're getting a little closer. Uh, just ran the wire into this assembly. Uh, got that relocated. I ended up having to take that back out and straighten that wire out to have, end up with enough. Um, but you got to have quite a bit. Um, some of that you can push back in and retape. Um, but you got to be able to reach out to the center and get in there. We've got the boot kind of folded up there. Um, but this is basically ready to get wired up. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, but 
I'll get this wire nutted up. Little triangle piece that goes over and you put some screws in. Um, be real careful, the screws are sharp. Let's see if I've got some here. I didn't bring them over with me, but they're sheet metal screws. So they go in this way and they stick out the back side. So when you, when you stuff this, make sure you don't have any wires anywhere close to where these sheet metal screws are at. All right, it's done. It works. Nice and cool in here now. Um, so this is a Coleman. I think this is a Mach Plus. Um, they didn't have anything. I wanted like a 14.5 or 15, but the 13.5 is all I could find. Um, but the, I got a trip plan here shortly, and I want to go ahead and get one of these in. Um, it definitely seems to be worth it. This area back here is super cold. Um, that's relatively quiet. Um, I did a little bit of work on this one um so this is ducted and it goes all the way back and there's actually a duct that comes out right there and goes all the way to the front so hopefully this one back here helps this one out a little bit on the really hot days um i've had this uh, camper several years and never really had a problem until you know started going to wind rock a lot more during the summer um so it's pretty warm and uh Pretty much it, it looked like two air conditioners was called for but anyway uh got a nice matching set those are basically basically identical ac units they just have different uh bottom end units so that's the uh i think it's called the chill uh, so i have those vents cut off and they actually forces it out of the, on the duct they have one up front one here one in the garage uh, one in the bathroom and one in the bedroom um, so this pretty much covers a lot more area than this does. Um, but I think if I leave this open, we'll get some nice cool air going back into the return here um, and help this air conditioner out. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And I hope this helps some folks out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.